Do the weeks just slip past you with nothing much ever happening? You might be stuck in survival mode. Hello, welcome to this week's Wild Spirits News. My name is Sibylla and today's subject is from survival mode to joy and creativity. There was a time in my life when the weeks just seemed to pass me by. I was doing okay. I was even moderately happy, but nothing really ever happened. The weeks just slipped through my fingers one after the other. It just seemed to pass so fast. I was stuck in survival mode and I didn't even realize it. The signs were there, but I never connected the dots. Your mission today is to learn how to detect survival mode and how to break through to joy and creativity. Task number one is learn what is survival mode. Now, the thing about survival mode is that it kind of creeps up on you. There's not one big dramatic event, and that's why it's so easy to miss. So how do you recognize it then? Well, there are some signs, and I've written down a list of them which I'm going to read out to you. It doesn't mean that all of this needs to apply to you. In fact, if even one of the following points seem familiar, and definitely if it's two or more, you might actually be stuck in survival mode. I'll read them out. First is your days are somewhat uniform. And when something happens that upsets this sequence of events, you get annoyed. Things that you really want to do are always soon. They might be, oh yeah, I might get to it tomorrow. I'm sure next week. It's always in the future and never today. And similarly, you can't even remember the last time you pursued your passion. You just don't seem to have the patience and the headspace for it these days. There might be signs of stress or rather signs of the effects of stress, such as a lack of concentration, brain fog, undue tiredness without a particular cause. You might have let yourself go in one or more ways. Your eating habits might have changed for the worse. You might have stopped exercising or stopped doing self-care. And lastly, you socialize a lot less. And it seems to be a huge effort to meet friends or go out these days. Task number two is how to break through to joy and creativity. Now, the reason why passions and joy and creativity seem out of reach when you're in survival mode is that they require a completely different mindset. You see, survival mode is an evolutionary defense mechanism and it's only ever meant to be temporary. And during survival mode, all the frills are cut off and you laser focus on the practicalities. Now, creativity requires just the opposite and a widening and opening of the mind. Space for unstructured time, for even silliness, playfulness, right? Relaxation. So in order to switch from one to the other, two things need to be in place. First of all, obviously, you need to leave the survival mode behind. You need to eliminate stress. If necessary, get help. Don't think you, even if you think you don't do too much, there's nothing wrong with doing even less. Get help in the household with the kids, have a conversation at work, whatever it takes. Eliminate that stress. And the other thing that is often missed, is, although it seems obvious, is to look after your basic needs. Make sure you get plenty of sleep, eat moderately healthily, and try to get some sort of movement in, some sort of exercise, right? That's the first step, eliminate or get rid of survival mode, snap out of it. And the second is to invite the joy and creativity. It's, if you've been stuck in survival mode for some time, it can, it can be a habit and it can be really difficult to get back into the habit of actually being in a different mode. So you, cre you create that space by doing less and now you need to invite the joy and the creativity by Again, saying no and if necessary, change jobs, do something else and then gently direct your focus to the things and the people that you love. Sometimes at the beginning, like I said, you might have to nudge yourself into doing this. Leave plenty of space, be patient with yourself and just gently start with five minutes a day doing something you love. Have some unstructured time, invite some playfulness and with time, this basic need in us will 
reawaken in you. And that's when you're there. And I always say this, if you need help with any of this, that is my specialty. Just schedule a chat. You don't have to sign up for a program. It's okay. We can just talk as long as I have space in my decelerated life for these things. I don't mind. Just I, I love talking to people. So any of my program pages have at the bottom a place where you can schedule a chat. Do it and we'll talk and we'll see what your options are. And obviously, if it's if it's if you really if you're really committed to eliminating this, you could consider coaching. It's well worth the effort. You will love the ease and the joy and the light that flood into your life. And that brings me to task number three, which is as usual, let me know. Leave a comment below the video and tell me where you stand on this. Do you think you're stuck in survival mode or have you been at some point in your life? I'll reply to every comment. If you would like some more, you should consider joining the community of Wild Spirits. By going to wildspiritscoaching.com and filling in that little form there, you'll get one email per week. It's 100% spam free with additional articles and information and recommendations of books and other resources. And sometimes you get exclusive offers that are only for my subscribers and that nobody else ever gets to see. So go to wildspiritscoaching.com and sign up or you can Google Wild Spirits Coaching. It'll get you to the website as well. Thank you for watching. Okay.